This video demonstrates the application and fitting of the Exos Form 626 and Exos Form 627. The Exos Form Spine Bracing System is available in two sizes, a small medium size and a large extra large size. The small medium size will fit the majority of your patients. The Exos Form 626 is packaged with the belt and a set of lordotic inserts that come pre-assembled in the brace pockets. The lordotic inserts are curved with the orange-colored side of the panel facing the patient. The Form 627 also includes an anterior panel. When sizing the Exos Form, reference the instructions for use for belt dimensions and sizing guidelines. In the event that your initial sizing estimation is not perfect, you can make adjustments to the circumference or angle of the belt wings while the brace is being worn by the patient. Simply detach the hook and loop connection to the belt wings and make equal adjustments to both sides by extending or tucking in the belt so the brace fits snug around the hips. Depending on the shape of the patient, it is sometimes helpful to attach to the wings at an angle. To begin fitting the brace, have the patient slip their hand in the donning mitt to assist in holding the brace. Next, align the anterior panel on the front of the patient and have them use their opposite hand to assist in holding the anterior panel in position. Wrap the belt around the patient and center the lace opening along the patient's posterior midline. Continue wrapping the anterior belt wing around the patient. Ensure that the loop strip on the anterior panel is secured over the hook strip attached to the anterior panel. Next, have the patient secure the hook closure on the front and ensure that the belt is snug. If your patient is slender, it is optional to fit the brace using only the anterior belt wing. To do so, lay the anterior belt wing on the front of the patient and have the patient hold the wing in place. If you are using the anterior panel, you would attach it to the center of the anterior belt wing. Next, position the posterior section evenly in the back and wrap either end posterior section around the patient's hips to secure. Now the patient can tighten the brace by turning the bow and knobs clockwise while in the down and locked position. The right knob controls the bottom half of the brace, while the left knob controls the top. The independent superior and inferior control of the tension enables the brace to conform better around the hips. To remove the brace, instruct the patient to lift the bow and knobs to release tension. To maintain a consistent fit, the brace should be fully extended prior to each use. The pull tab on the front is useful to grasp and aid in the brace removal. Excess material on the belt wings may be trimmed. However, make sure the belt is properly fit prior to trimming. For more information on the Exos Form family of spine braces, please visit www.djoglobal.com or call 800-336-6569.